Christian Harrison representing uh, Adidas and the Golden Coast Track Club based out of San Diego. Doing the 800 tomorrow evening. Um, and the purpose is to run fast. You know, come out here, put a fast time down. Uh, I feel good, I'm in good shape. Uh, this is a fast track from what I hear. It's my first time here. So I'm excited to come out here, put it down, see what I can come up with. Yeah, on the word on the street was um, you were looking to get in the one, you're ready to go uh, sub 146, is that right? Yeah, why not? I mean, no shoot for the moon, man. You know, I, uh, I opened up my season, or my first eight of the year was 148 low. That's my, uh, that's my fastest season opener. Um, but I did a little bit of stumbling, a little bit of tripping during that race. Uh, so that could have been 147 easily. Um, could have, should have, would have, but I'm here now. I feel good. It's a fast track. You know, I'm ready to go out here and do what I can do. What's your PP? 146.6. 146.6. Yeah, this is a fast track, as like you mentioned earlier. Um, what, what do you hope to get out of, out of this, um, your, your time here in um, Gately tomorrow? Oh yeah, like I said, really just test out the fitness. Um, it'll be great to come away with a new indoor PR. My indoor PR is 146.8. My lifetime PR is 146.6. Um, and I feel like I'm in that type of shape right now. So, you know, come out here, do what I can, put it down. I'm excited to test the fitness out on this fast track. Do you know what the, is there a pacer tomorrow? Do you know what they're gonna go through in? I have no idea. No idea, okay, no okay. Idea. Are you willing to do the work from the front if you have to, or are you, uh, are you more here to race first, uh, yeah, nah, time I'm, second? Um, I'm, I'm here to, I, I'm comfortable going out up top. You know, I, uh, I'd rather go out and die trying to get a fast time than sit in the back and kick and win a 148, 149 race. That's just not doing anything for me at this point in the season. Um, I've already, qualified and been accepted to U.S. Championship, so uh, really just out here trying to run fast. Yeah. Anyone else travel here from your club with you, or are you traveling solo? Nah, just me. Um, okay. We got a couple girls that are out in London right now. We got a couple girls that are uh, headed out to Australia for World Cross. Um, so yeah, just me here. How do you kind of keep your wits about you being a solo traveler? Um, I don't know. I've been doing this a long time. You know, I've I've had the big groups and I've been by myself. Uh, at the end of the day, it's another track meet. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I've been running track for 20 years now. I've been running track professionally for seven years now. So um, I'm always excited to be in a new city. I've been to Chicago before, never to race though. Um, so, you know, traveling is one of the things I love the most about this professional track and field world. So. Um, stay excited, stay calm, stay race ready. Do you get any like nostalgia or anything with all the young guns uh, oh, racing, yeah. running Absolutely. around? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Anytime I come to a meet where it's a big college presence like this, it definitely makes me miss the, the college, the team aspect of track and field. I know all these young guys take it for granted, sitting up there, they, they rode the bus here, they didn't have to uh, worry about purchasing no plane tickets. They eating lunch right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they got their ride secured back to the hotel. Um, nah, I definitely missed that. And I'm excited to see how we hit. Uh, I went to A&T before I transferred to Georgia. So to see a HBCU presence at a big meet like this um, definitely gets me excited. So I'm happy to see them there too. You're your accent, what's your, uh, your hometown? Oh, Merlin, PG County. I yep, know, yep. Glen Arden, Prince George County. Yes, yeah, yes. Prince George's County, man. Yes, Glen Arden, Maryland, born and raised. Yes, yeah, sir. KD from right down the road. Pat, KD from C. Pleasant. I'm from Glen Arden, so 10 minute neighbors. You run for Glen Arden Track Club? I did run for Glen Arden Track Club. You might have been here like, what, 10 years ago then? In uh, Chicago? It was a meeting in Chicago, man. Nah, I wasn't. I might be too old for that. Yeah. Ten years ago, I was in college, wasn't I? Three years, yeah, ten years ago, I was in college by then. Yeah. If you could give yourself or one of the current athletes, uh, collegiate athletes here, a piece of advice, what would you say? Um, you gotta want to do the work just as much as you want the results. You can't, um, you can't want to run fast more than you want to work hard at practice or more than you want to eat right or get enough sleep. Um, you know, those, that discipline that it takes, that's, um, 
you got to want that just as much, if not more, than wanting to run fast. You can't have one without the other. That's a great one to end on. I love that. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey man, you got a lot of swag to you, man. And, uh, hey, keep it going, man. We look forward to seeing you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Excited to watch.